Um, okay, so for for the leadership essay, I think the prompt um, goes something like um, Shivnin seeks to um, award um, young leaders who have shown uh, leadership potential in the past. Can you tell us how you have exhibited leadership attributes in the past and give examples or something? So I I started with, I had three examples. I know right when I was preparing, we had a lot of um, sessions from current scholars at the time who used to advise that we should try to have at least three examples. And so I, I had three examples. Before then, I had already, like when I, when I wrote my first draft, I actually had about five or six examples. Started with my introduction, uh, where I, in the introduction, I talked about, um, I think I, I defined, I, I did not define leadership, but I talked about what's, uh, what leadership means to me and how, um, how I talked about how I, I felt that leadership means uh, taking initiative and being willing to actually get into the depths. Um, that, that's the sure way to actually lead is to lead by example. So that was my introduction. So uh, after the introduction, I then went into my examples. In the final draft, I'll talk about the final draft primary. I had three examples. Um, the first example, I talked about my experience working with ISEC, which is um, an international. You know, actually, I started from my um, oldest leadership experience. I talked about how uh, my leadership journey started. Um, in um, I think that was 2016 when I did something regarding um, debating in my faculty because I used to be a member of the uh, University of the Girls Debate Society. So I talked about how I started uh, myself and my partner at the time started um, a debating and, and a book club in um, in the Faculty of Engineering to encourage um, engineering students to debate. Then I um, I went to the second paragraph uh, using the STAR approach, of course, where I. Um, I highlighted the situation, the task, action, and results. And um, for the second example, I talked about um, my experience with ISEC, being uh, a leader with ISEC, which is an international youth-led leadership um, organization. And what we do at ISEC is um, really providing um, spaces for um, young people to develop their leadership skills by contributing to sustainable development goal projects. So I talked about how uh, while I was the um, the vice president of one of the arms of ISEC Lakers at the time, I I was able to secure a lot of partnerships with organizations that helped us to further our goals of contributing to various sustainable development goals in Lagos. I, I mentioned specifically the goals that we focused on at that point in time, and then uh, I think my third example revolved around the one of the Islam education projects I managed for a one year period. Uh, I think that was in 2019. And um, I talked about the situation. The situation was that uh, we got to that community and realized that um, the, a lot of the children in that community, the Shogunra Go community in the Waya area in Yaba, realized that a lot of the children in that community were out of school. Um, then the, that was the situation. So the task was to come up with an initiative or an idea to provide uh, the, um, the children with free basic education so that they can at least become literate and then my the action i took was to um work with my team at isaac at that point in time to draft a plan for the project and then went ahead to um, recruit um, volunteers from the university of lagos and then i talked about how i went on to manage the project for a one year period and then the result was that at the end of that one year we were able to see considerable improvement in the in the literacy levels of these children and at the same time also i also stressed how I was able to secure a partnership with um, another organization that helped us to secure sending 20 of the about 50 children we worked with in that one year period to proper um, government schools to actually further their education. And, and then I also concluded with how um, through the Shivnin program, I would I look forward to um, further developing my leadership skills so that I can come back to Nigeria to contribute to, um, to further contribute to sustainable development in the energy sector. How are you able to cram all of these things into the essay? Um, okay, so like I said, my uh, my first essay draft was over 1,000 words. At that point in time, I had over five examples. When I brought it down to um, to the three examples I was interested in, I still had um, over 800 words, I think. So it now it now came down to writing skills, right? Learning how to um, eliminate eliminate unnecessary words, sentences like sometimes we write the way we talk so in other and on the other and like okay some on the other hand can easily be shot into likewise or something like that or um, similarly something like that so learning it came down to writing skills really so i i had to i took time to paraphrase all my paragraphs without um eliminating the the the, the overall um 
thought I was trying to pass across. And I also, um, yeah, so I also had um, people who were, who were better than me in um, writing to also help me review my essay. I think I was able to successfully bring it down to about 600 words, but ultimately bringing it out to 500 words, I had the help of someone else who was a, a better writer than me and who even helped me because I tried my best to, I like, I can't remove anything else. I can't remove anything else from these things, but I was, he was, my friend was eventually able to help me bring it down to the required number of words and um, without eliminating the the message I was trying to pass across. Are there any apps that help um, I use, I think I use Grammarly. And at that point in time, I, had it, I, had, I have a Grammarly premium subscription. So um, after my first drafts, um, I think I, I used Grammarly a lot when I was trying to um, bring it down to my second and third drafts eventually. So do you think another approach, maybe this is approach, do you think someone can get to the leadership as well? Um, okay, so I think I, I cannot say for sure because I, I, I feel like the first time I applied, I didn't really use the star approach. But what the star approach does for you, it's, it helps you simplify the process of actually passing your message across. Or it makes, it makes uh, the star approach actually helps to make uh, your impact clearer. Because um, like star means, like I said, situation, task, action, and most importantly, result. It's possible for you to write your story or to write to cite an example in the first place and not be very clear on the results or not be very clear on the impact you've made. But the star approach helps you to actually, before you write the essay, you've already written it down. What was the situation? What was the task? What was the action? What was the result? So you know you have to be very clear about those four things. And it's not it's not just it's not just something that we some, we uh, somebody just came up with. This this is this this um, the, using the star approach is actually an advice from the Shivni Reading Committee. So if you every year they release um, they release I think what they it's, I can't remember how they term it now but it's basically what they feel like um, people who were shortlisted for the interviews did right and what the ones that were not shortlisted uh, did wrong so they just give us a summary of that and they always encourage uh, scholars or applicants to use the star approach especially in their leadership and networking essays. Final advice. Okay, so I feel like before you write the, your leadership essay, you actually need to outline everything you believe you have done as regards leadership. So sit down before you write, start writing the essays at all. Sit down and say, okay, uh, at what point in time do I think I, I was able to take initiative to solve a problem? At what point in time did I lead a group of people to address a challenge in my community, in my society, in my school? So you do not have to be the president. You do not. Um, you do not have to be um, the leader of something for you to have taken a leadership initiative. Even um, in my in my leadership essays, out of the three examples I, that I used eventually, it was only one that I talked about when I was the vice president of um, an organization. So for the others, I just uh, okay. The other one also, I was the project manager for a project. But um, I think the most important thing is you need to show. Um, how you you need to show what you did in particular not just what you did as a team you need to show what you did in particular you need to show how you were able to um, lead other people to contribute to um, sustainable development or to, or to contribute to effective pot positive change in the community that's it's really so if you are able to list out um, all the leadership examples you feel you have in your head then you can then proceed to write the leadership essay while um, buttressing each of the points